Hello and welcome back to Game on Caffeine. My name is Isaac and welcome back to the Tech It tutorial. So, last episode I showed you how to build and fuel the rocket so that you could travel to the moon. And at this episode I'm going to show you basically how to survive on the moon because if you do if you just do last episode's thing and you just build the rocket, fuel it and go straight up, you'll get there and if you're not in creative mode you will you'll die instantly. Well, you won't die instantly, you'll start to die. Your hearts will go down because you, you, you suffocate and there's no oxygen and such. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, basically make a base so that you can live on the moon with oxygen. So that was our rocket room. Today we're going to be building, we're going to be preparing the oxygen. So let's go in here. So the first thing you're going to need, what you're going to need, you're going to need an oxygen mask. And again, like I did last episode, I'll put the recipes on screen. You're going to need an oxygen mask, which is eight glass panes and an iron helmet in the middle. You're going to need oxygen gear, which is basically like pumps the oxygen from your tank to the mask. And an oxygen gear is, as on the screen, it's uh, five oxygen pipes and an oxygen uh, and one of these, an oxygen concentrator. An oxygen concentrator is four invar ingots, three tin ingots, a tin uh, canister and an air vent. I'll throw the ones with tin canister and air vent on again. Just I did it yesterday, but um, you might have forgotten the up on side by side. Uh, then you're going to need a, an air tank. They do these in three different sizes, so I'll put all three on screen right now, and then you can just build whichever one you want. The, the biggest one holds more oxygen, and the littlest one holds the littlest, obviously. Uh, so that's like the uh, equipment that you're going to need to have on you, apart from this canister, uh, concentrator even. Uh, now what you're going to need, the machines to actually like pump the oxygen around and make sure that you can live on the moon. You're going to need an oxygen collector. Uh, an oxygen collector is four lead ingots in the corners, one oxygen concentrator, that's at the top center, uh, an air fan, an, a machine frame, and an air vent all in the middle. I'll put all three recipes on there as well. And one redstone reception coil at the bottom center. I'll put that up there as well. Redstone reception coil, it's really easy. It's two redstone and a gold. Uh, you're also going to need an oxygen uh, distribution bubble, an oxygen bubble distributor even. Uh, and that is four lead ingots, two air vents, a machine frame, and two... Uh, redstone reception coils and finally you're going to need an oxygen compressor this is to put the oxygen from the oxygen collector into the tanks so that you can uh, put it on your back and leave and that's six lead ingots down either side an oxygen concentrator a machine frame and another uh, redstone reception coil now some of the things you're going to need as well i use magmatic engines to power my things you can use sterling engines and all the other sort of engines i found that out before uh, they're just not as powerful uh, these are conductive pipes so that i can take the power from these and put them in the machines the lava bucket is to power the magmatic engines. You need a parachute so that you can, when you come back down or when you go to the moon, even you uh, you can jump out and you won't die when you hit the floor. And the parachute is three canvases and three string, and a canvas is five string and two sticks. You're also going to need a load of leaves. So if you get some uh, shears and just go shear down uh, loads of leaves off loads of trees, because you're going to need loads of them, because this is what gives the oxygen to the oxygen collector. This is what the, ox the oxygen collector gets them from. So let's take all this out. Uh, most of now. So if you go into survival mode, I'll do it just for now, and you can put on these things. No, not that one. You need to put on the oxygen gear. You can see me, they go in the, the slots like this, and you can put on the oxygen mask. And I'm just going to jump back in creative for the sake of the tutorial. And now, what you need to do is you need to put down your oxygen collector anywhere you want. I'm going to put it down there. You also need these oxygen pipes, which I've got here. Did I tell you how to make oxygen pipes? Oxygen pipes are just six glass panes, just like that on screen. So what you need to do is you need to have a pipe coming out of here like that. If it doesn't connect, if you've got it like that and it doesn't connect, just make, just turn it around or use the other side, so like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the oxygen bubble, bubble distributor next to it like this. And again, if this doesn't connect, just move around a bit until, uh, until you get the right side connecting like that. Uh, and now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get your power source. I'm using the magnetic engines and your pipes and your lava even as well and just simply connect up connect them up like this uh, if you've got them in a tank like this you can pump them out like I did last episode or you can just um, fill them with lava buckets like I'm doing now it's totally up to you so we put down the magmatic engine like so and then basically just fill it up with lava and it will start put doing this and now what this is doing this is pulling in oxygen now see oxygen at the minute is taking in loads we don't need to put leaves around it because there's oxygen everywhere and on earth up on in on the moon there is not much oxygen so you, there's no oxygen even I don't think so you need to put all leaves around all around it uh, this has not got any power so you need to do the same thing with this you need to make sure that it has uh, a wooden transport a wooden conductive pipe a gold conductive pipe uh, a magmatic engine and fill it with lava and then this will start to make this bubble as you can see and this is just a bubble of oxygen and when you get on the moon you will be able to live inside this bubble of oxygen you'll be able to take off your oxygen tank this thing now, in order to fill an oxygen tank, what you need to do is 
you need to get an empty one you need to connect up from here uh, an oxygen compressor now again if it doesn't connect up first time just move around a bit until you get like that now this is a bit buggy at the minute and it's not actually working on TechIp uh, it works if you just download the mod and play it on Minecraft the, it works fine but if you are playing this on the new TechIp that came out a couple of days ago it's not working at the moment when you put in uh, an oxygen tank in here it doesn't fill it up it says active and it shows the oxygen going in and it shows that it's getting power and such but it does not fill it up so I don't know why that's not working I don't know what's wrong with it but it doesn't work so I've got a filled uh, oxygen tank here you're going to take your power chute with you we don't need these anymore and basically this is it this is what you need to set up you need to set up the oxygen collector surround it with leaves connect it up to an oxygen bubble distributor power them both however you want use uh, sterling engines and power them with coal or these magmatic engines and basically just power it up like this and now you can set up your base now you can make these bigger than this I believe you just need to power it more see it's only got it's only so active if I put down some more magmatic engines the bubble size would probably increase sorry about the texture packs there don't know what's going on with that it's going to increase maybe I have to increase the um, if you increase the power going to all everything it'll um, increase the size of the bubble and then you could build your base on the moon within these you can put more than one down obviously and it will just start it'll, you can build your base on the moon now I'll go show you this I've got a rocket up on the roof and I have already built, I have pre built one of these uh, on the moon, so I'll show you now. So if you go up here, I have my rocket launching thing. I've got a pre fueled spaceship. Uh, you can look at my last episode and I'll show you how to build the spaceship and how to fuel it. I'll probably speed this up because this takes a while to, um, to set off and get to the moon, so I'll see you in a second, guys. Okay, so we are here. Uh, this is the little menu that comes up when you uh, you get to the when you get to the moon. You can click up here. It'll show you the sun and the earth. It's, there's not much point to it, I don't think, but it can show you it. Uh, if you see the earth is full of life, habitable, and has 100% gravity, the moon is uh, not. It is habitable, but it's not full of life. It has no oxygen, and gravity is 18%. So you click center dimension, and you will start to free fall from here. Uh, hold spacebar to slow down. So you can hold spacebar, and you will slowly start to slow down like so. I would recommend doing this because it's going to take me quite a while now to float down but uh, if you don't you fall straight down and you'll just crash into uh, into the floor. Now one thing I did not do game mode S is I need to put on my oxygen tank for one and if I put on my parachute I should be able to just uh, free fall out of this but I can't. So um, you can just free fall uh, either way there's um, the gravity on the moon means that even if you free fall from a very high height, it's not going to hurt you when you land. And here you go, this is my setup that I have inside. I have two la large uh, lava tanks just filled with lava, powering the magmatic engines, which are powering my oxygen collectors and the oxygen bubble generators. And you'll see now, if I take off my tank... Oh my gosh, that thing's landing. I don't know if it breaks anything. No, it doesn't. So you'll see now, if I take off my tank, I can still run around, but if I leave this bubble, it will uh, warn me and hurt me. So you see this bubble can get quite big, this one's connected to two oxygen uh, generators and there are a lot of leaves here, you do need a lot because there's no oxygen whatsoever on the moon. But uh, this is how you do it. If you like the video don't forget to hit the like down below and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials. Bye.